Let's see the breakfast in Plus TV Africa. Time for us to look at a second conversation. Now, the Senate has approved the amendment up to the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. The bill was passed on Wednesday. After consideration of a report by Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, the Administration of Criminal Justice Act dates back to 2015 during the administration of a former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Good luck, Ebele Jonathan. Now, Lagos at the time had in 2007 enacted the Administration of Criminal Justice Law, which aims to achieve efficiency in the handling of criminal cases in, in several states, uh, of course. Now, and, um, several states have actually domesticated it. I remember once upon a time where Oju Zokalu, uh, chief whip of the Senate, had in 2000 and 20 proposed an amendment to the Administration of Criminal Justice Act after his release from prison following his conviction over money laundering. Now, in December 2021, the bill seeks to make the Administration of Criminal Justice Act more effective and humane. It was also uh, seen through, it passed through the second reading at the Senate. Now, during the public hearing on the bill in February, that's in 2022, of course, this is November, among deliberations on the proposed amendment included issues on fair hearing for suspects, clearly spelled out court jurisdiction on criminal cases. There's also, uh, at the time of presentation of the report, Okpayemi Bamidele, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Judiciary, said that the bill makes provision for uniform sentencing policies and more a restorative justice mechanism. He listed the restorative justice mechanism to include victim offender mediation, a suspended sentence and prohibition, and community service. He also said the section has established or had an establishment of an administration of criminal justice monitoring committee and has been amended to read establishment of the Administration of Criminal Justice Monitoring Council to entrench the culture of fair, efficient and effective criminal justice service delivery in Nigeria and also to improve outcomes through active partnership. It is also imperative that the Extent Act be holistically reviewed to make all-encompassing provision. They are also targeted addressing the inherent challenges in the course of implementation with uh, respect to some judicial pronouncement on the subject matter. Now we have a guest joining us this morning, Jeffrey Mwalema. Uh, he's a legal practitioner. I hope I got your name correctly. Yes, very well. <coughs> it's good to have good you morning. in our studios this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank morning. you. Well, I'd like to share your thoughts on, you know, the, the act, the move by the Senate. The Senate, yes. Yeah, to amend the administrative criminal justice. And do you think that this would actually help, you know, especially in terms of uh, the reform of the sector? Okay, um, so in my opinion, right, <coughs> the SCJL, SCJA, whichever one in circumstance now, the SCJA in circumstance here, yeah? so it has, in fact, our criminal justice in general has always been a more of the retribution, incapacitation, and um, you know, the process, they, they, you know, as criminal justice forgets the other end of justice, which is um, about um, rehabilitation and um, such like reparation. So because of this, I'm sure that is why the Senate has looked at, you know, other jurisdictions like, um, like in, the, in the major countries, like in the Western world, you know, they have, you know, they have embraced this reparation and rehabilitation process. So. The rehabilitation is a process where a person, after a criminal sentence, you are supposed to be taken back into the society, rehabilitation, making you um, more um, efficient in the society, while the other one you're talking about, um, where you, reparation, where you try to make amends to the family, where probably that was a victim of the crime, you know, something. So in this situation, you're talking about like, um, a situation where someone stole money, you know, and you have to return the money to the family. You have to make contribution to the community. You know, you know, looking at the um, this thing, you see community service. That's part of the rehabilitation and retribution um, rehabilitation process. So, so I feel the, the 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 system has realized that we have come to a point where we need to 
get to this point and get all these things said. So I think it's a good one. It will, it will further reform our, our um, <clears throat> judicial system and the criminal justice mm. system. Mm -hmm. but, but, but let's further talk about, you know, uh, the administration of criminal justice in Nigeria. One of the major issues, I'm sure that you're very uh, also in the know, is the issue mm. of delay. There's always delay. So you have a case that can trickle, it can take a lot of time. And with all of this that has mm. been, you know, looking at the parts that should be amended, yeah. does this solve the problem of delay okay. in, administrating, um, in administrating or giving out justice? I won't um, holistically tell you what the Senate is doing right now, but then I'm sure this is part of what the Senate is trying to achieve because um, you say a delayed justice is a, a denied justice, right? So <clears throat> in this situation, I'm sure the the new ACJ will work towards this because it has become, um, cannot be overemphasized, the need for fast justice. So the system needs to needs to work on this, and I'm sure this new ACJ way is going to work around it. And in as much as the way of our legal system, the procedures is a bit um, stringent on, you know, achieving justice where the justice uh, where the system says there is better for um, for you to lose for a thousand criminals to be on the road than sentencing a, um, an innocent person. Yeah. No, but. I, I know that um, you probably might just be careful. We're just mm -hmm. having a conversation. Yeah. And I, I'd like to <laughs> honestly share your opinion on the issue, whether mm -hmm. uh, this amendment, we, we've looked at you know, the key areas mm -hmm. and all that uh, the Senate is concerned with. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it addresses the issue of delay in administering justice? Okay, right now, um, addressing delay in administering justice, yes, it will address it, but um, that's why I'm mentioning our system is a bit stringent, it's a bit tight. So there is a procedure, right? In as much as there's an SCJA, the court has its own rules to follow too. There is a process that lawyers have to follow the filing process, the procedure of filing, you go to court, the prosecution makes its, um, um, makes its case, the defense makes its case. The procedure has to be there. We can't avoid this procedure. But then the best the system can do right now, I'm sure, is to make this, this process faster. So but I, 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 really, I really hope the new procedure will actually address this. I really hope so. So it therefore means that it doesn't address it? OK. Um, we can't see. Um, no, let's no, let's no. let the people. Let the people. Uh, so why do why do I think that you're just trying to be, you know, politically correct? You're you're just trying to play safe. Yeah? Play safe. Um, you, you it, know why? Because the act is not out yet, right? The act is not out. So we are we are okay. Let them pass the reading first. Then let's see. But, but we have, let's see but, the but, but we have, that has been made. I mean, if we look at it, we're looking at the component. We're looking at the process. I mean, I, I have actually gone through mm -hmm. uh, all of the components or the content mm -hmm. of the amendments, mm -hmm. all of the areas that should be tweaked or yes, will be tweaked. Yes, yes, And all of this, it's, it looks very fantastic. Mm -hmm. It sounds very brilliant. But a major issue is the issue of so, delay. In, in terms of delivering, because yes. you have a case. I mean, there are several cases. For instance, um, I have really forgotten now. I hope to remember the mm -hmm. uh, um, the Kingpin. What's his name again? We know how long that case trickled. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are several cases that are still lingering. Mm -hmm. You know, you probably have an incident. It would take three years, four years. What, what, what exactly? Okay. And one would expect that if, you know, there would be an amendment to the Administration of Criminal Act, then it should you know, cater for, it should look at the issue of um, delay, you know, corruption, mm -hmm. which I'm going to get to you. So mm -hmm. another issue again is there are a lot of challenges in the judicial system. Uh, the, another challenge is the fact that there's always a suppression of the executive arm of government. The executive arm of government seems to be interfering. Yeah. Uh, that's number one. The issue of corruption, you can't take that away. Yes. Delay, like I have mentioned. Mm -hmm. So how do we now, you know, get over this? Okay, so Especially when we look at this amendment, not paying attention so to these issues. Okay, so basically, right, um, I'm, I'll sincerely tell you that um, in as much as we are looking at SCJ, which is supposed to be managing the administration of justice, basically, in Nigeria, there are other processes which, um, which affects the procedure of having, you know, procedure of delivering judgment on a case. So, 
if you are amending an SCJA and there are procedures like okay look at section 36 of the constitution so for where it says um, a person has a right to be to <clears throat> where the person has a right to a a cut you know and then you have a reasonable time where you have to be um, uh, <clears throat> your case has to be educated <clears throat> excuse me so because of some of these um, procedures you you, you, just, you cannot just jump um, the procedure of um, giving judgment in courts, you understand? So, so that's why uh, SCJA cannot just do all the job in this situation here. But then I agree with you very well. This is a very vital area. I mean, like I said before, um, justice delays, justice denied. So, yes, I agree with you very well. And I hope so. It's, it may make one or two tweaks. You get me? You may make one or two tweaks, but it may not completely address the issue of time and delay because there are other processes. There are court processes which cannot be removed from the process. Yeah, so let's also talk about some of it, that um, the essence of all of this is that it would entrench the culture of fair, efficient, and effective criminal you know, justice service delivery in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And uh, for instance, I I'd like you to share your thoughts because... One of the issues that we have in Nigeria, mm. one of the things that have become very prominent is the obedience or, you know, obeying court orders, obeying the law. Mm -hmm. and, and so when you have the arms, arms of government that should respect the law, that should understand the dynamics yeah. or, you know, of the law, uh, but sometimes are contrary to all of it. Uh, for instance, you look at the issue of uh, d defamation. Uh, defamation is a recent case, Amino. Uh, Mohammed and that of Aisha Buhari. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, in, in that particular case, there were reports that he was arrested even before, you know, he was arrested, tortured, and however it is, he's not even been granted bail and all of that. And so, w with the kind of system that we practice, even when we have the laws in place already, mm -hmm. even when we should understand the law, do you think that, you know, amending the um, administrative criminal justice would help anything? Would people act in accordance to the law. Okay. Well, um, you know, executive power is, um, yeah, I, I see it as the ultimate power in the, you know, the three arms of government, right? So it's the best thing, the best thing we can have is our executive system respecting the law, having the, following the rule of law. Everybody's, nobody's above the law. You understand? So, um, the executive system has n executives have always um, have always taken judiciary for you know for a right most of the times. So, but then this is not something we can address in one day, right? So, um, this the, the SCJA quite all right will make amends in most of these areas. But uh, I, I trust me, these are these are things written in paper. It is left for us for the executives to obey and follow the rule of law. So uh, I, I hope I hope we get to a better Nigeria where we get people, where the executives understand that the law and the rule of law is something you must follow. So yes, I hope this is part of the amendment too. But the executives are um, a power on their own. Yes. No, but if we want to further have that conversation, that's why you have the three arms of government. Yes, exactly. And that's why you have, you know, the. Uh, if you say you have the executive, and the uh, that's why you have the legislative judiciary Sorry. to check the excesses. Exactly. That's where the principle of checks and balances so, comes in. Yeah. So that you don't have an arm of government overly being too powerful. Would it therefore mean that in the administration of, you know, justice, administrative justice, mm -hmm. uh, that the other arms of government are not doing their duties? Are we, are we, uh, yes, most most arms of government are okay. No, let me not say they are not doing their duties, right? Because uh, you still get criminals in prison, right? There are still criminals in prison. There are people being arrested every day, and um, that's the executive right now. And there are laws being made. This is the amendment. So, and then the judges are sitting on cases. So these are these three arms are actually working, right? So, but then when there are powers that influences the decision of the judgment or whatever. It's a different thing altogether. But trust me, these arms are working. So 
all we are looking at is having a system where everybody understands the rule of law and follows the rule of law. We can write all the laws we have in papers. We can write, we can have the best laws. But then trust me, the only reason why the Westerns are the way they are and how their country is today is because they follow the rule of law. So we cannot, we cannot let me put it that way, because um, I think every Nigerian is guilty of this, we cannot keep jumping the gun, you know, avoiding the law and making blunders here and there and expect the system to be clean. So it starts from every other person. So, but then I agree with you that the legislative, yeah, judiciary is um, <coughs> the executives are actually on top of this ladder. And, and that's why you have, you know, the other arms of government. So mm -hmm. it would therefore mean that you, you, the excesses of the executive is not properly checked, and that's why uh, some people say that on top of the list for administrating or you know chunking out mm -hmm. criminal justice is that the executive suppresses the system. They seem to be on top of it. But what happens to the legislative arm of government? Was there to check the excessive of the executive and you know the judiciary as well? And uh, another issue also is the issue of corruption. How has the system not poured itself <coughs> entirely? But we're coasting this conversation down now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd, I'd like you to share your thoughts generally, overview, what do you think can be done you know, to improve the system? Okay. So, like, I, like my first advice, the rule of law should be taken very seriously. That's the first thing. Everybody, nobody's above the law. Everybody below the law. So that's the first thing. Then, secondly, we need to have a system that is more stringent, you know, um, where the legislative and of government can act without, you know, be, in fact, let me say it this way. The legislative and of government have to be independent. That is the first thing. And then you have, you also need to have people with clean records in the system. So this affects the system too. I, I don't want to start mentioning names, but um, look at the, um, the Senate, look at the process. Some of the people there um, are trying, they're trying to move some of these motions uh, in one case or the other. Do you think that, don't you think there will be bias in their decisions in trying to do the, in make the SCJL and trying to make it favor them? So, the system is corrupt right from the roots. So the first point of contact is making sure that these people making these laws and are the cleanest people, are the cleaner people in the society. I mean, pick the best hands in the society. We can't keep um, closing our eyes to the reality of life and keep saying, oh, um, anybody can be this, anybody, um, he was, that was him before, this is was him now. So we need a system where um, 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 will I use the word good people here? Good people are in power. So this will go a long way to clean the system. Well, that's so much that uh, we can take. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Thank you. Uh, Jeffrey has been with us uh, this morning. He's a legal practitioner. Uh, we'll just uh, take a break, and when we return, we'll be talking sports right here. Um, a sports journalist joins us Monday, Thomas, uh, hopefully. Please stay with us. <laughs>